see these are the statistical analysis analysis mean. Uh, first, we start with this mean, which is the sum of all pieces found divided by the location total number. This will equal to 379 uh, divided by the 50, which is the number of locations, and it would equal 7.58 as our mean. The variance is taking the sum of xi minus x bar to the square divided by n minus 1. And in this case, it's 652.18 divided by 50 minus 1 equal 1331. Then we take the, the, from finding the variance, we can take the square root of it and it would equal our standard deviation. Then uh, we consider the conf confidence interval as point estimate plus minus the margin of error. Uh, as you can see, the point estimate is mean, is mean, and the margin of error is C star times the standard error. So we would take 7.58 plus minus the C, C star, and we multiply that um, by the standard deviation divided by the square root of the number of locations, which would give us a confidence interval total of 6.58 to 8.59. And then we would make a hypothesis test regarding H null nu equaling eight pieces of gum found, and H alternate equaling uh, nu not equaling uh, eight pieces of gum. So we would may uh, we can test this as um, can proceed to uh, seeing the the sample being independent. Um, it is random. It is it, the more than thirty tests were made, and less it's less than ten percent of population. So we find z score by. Uh, subtracting the mean minus the number tested, which is 8, divided by the standard deviation, which is divided by the square root of 50, number of locations, equaling negative 0 0.81. And if we look in the table, it would give us 0 0.2090, considering uh, that, and then since we're looking at both sides of the graph, of the, of both sides of the graph on, on the statistic manner, um, you would have to multiply that by 2, and would give us a total of 0 0.418, and 0 0.418 is bigger than alpha, so the new hypothesis cannot be rejected.